Hello everyone, this is Higgins Zoom here. Welcome back to my OP of Pokemon Black. In the last episode, we got here to Nat Green City and, you know, faced off against the gym leader, um, Lenora, who's its normal types. And uh, in this episode, something's happening in, in the, you know, out, outside gym and in, in the museum. So let's actually go and see what's going on. It's Team Plasma, I guess you know. It's always, they're the troublemakers of the, the game. Now you wait. Fo enough fooling around. So have you come? So you've come, gym leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this museum's dragon skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. To show you you're serious, we're stealing it right before your eyes. Well then, here goes our smoke screen. Plasma! He just stole his head. Okay, fine. What are you gonna get out of that? It's just a Dragonite. What's going on? Oh, oh, we had to go after them. Yeah, still even the museum is bad. Testing time. Good day, Lenora. Find any good fossils lately? This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from arch block again? Astra, this is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's Cas Castelia City's gym leader. <laughs> he may not look like it. <laughs> okay. Eh? Just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic there's something around here. What's up? What's up? Someone just talked just walked away with an exhibit. That's what's up. Hey Bianca. Oh hi Astro. What's everybody doing here? Astro, is there some kind of problem? And these two are your friends? Bianca and Sharon. Oh I see, they're trainers. Okay then. Let's split up and search. I'll head this way. Everyone. Sharon and Bianca, I want you to stay here at the museum. Berg and Astra, you two search Pinwell Forest. Got it? Berg, you show the way. I'm counting you, everyone. Uh-huh, you are. Astra, is it? Are you raring to round up by robbers? Yes. Oh, oh, Astra, take this with you. Fennel gave me this dozen machine to give you. Yay! I got a dozen machine. Nice. That'd be useful. Now, what did she tell me? Um, you can use the dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden, so you can find stuff you can't even see. I know that. For now, all we need to do is protect the museum, right? Hi, Sharon. Hey, wait for me! And they just walk off. Not even running off. I mean, I gotta go heal. Uh, you know, because I say so. Okay, now I'm out, out of the Pokemon Center, I actually bought some healing items. Uh, you know, like, um, let's see. Um, I bought, like, four of every, um, status healing item. Um, but six antidotes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I did that because, um, you know, like the, um, nurse over here says there's gonna be a lot of paralyzing and poison Pokemon in the, the Pinwheel Forest. If they had managed to scatter off into the forest, we might have trouble. Yeah, I know. I was just buying healing items. Yeah, this nurse over here says, you know, after she heals me. <laughs> what did I heal already? I actually didn't notice. Uh, poison and paralysis. Yeah. Paralysis. Anyway, let me actually see what's up front and my thing. I actually have deposited one of my Pokemon into the PC, um, Don Mole. Because, um, this area is, you know, has a lot of grass types and he won't be useful against any of the grass types. So, yeah. I'm just gonna keep beat. No. Yeah, I will keep them. Um, hmm. You out front, then switch you to over here. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to see what Pokemon's up front. Well, you see, there are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest the road that goes straight and the p patch that. The road that goes straight and the path that winds through the woods. I'll take the straight road after them. If they're not here, I'll block the exit. Well, you're just being lazy. Would you please take the other way and check whether Plasma is hiding in there or something? You run into a lot of trainers, so, but it's basically a single path. So, I, so I'm sure you won't get lost. Come on, let's do this for Lenora's sake. I know, I know. Let's see what the sign has to say. 
Oh, I know that. I should actually, you know, do what the game suggests and put the dowsing machine on my Y button. Yeah. This is what the dowsing machine looks like. If there's an item nearby, uh, yeah, see? This is what it'll do. It'll show, it'll point an arrow in that direction where the hidden item is. I can't do anything about that one because Bird will block me. Anyway, here's a double battle. That is required. Great. Sawaddle and Sawaddle. Uh, I have a bad matchup with um, Setsune here. Whoops. And well, Intimidate will help, you know, lower the attack of those. Those grass bug Pokemon, which is what that is. Actually, let me switch into Giant 2x4 because he has Rock Throw. And, uh, I'll take you down. Sure, why not? Does Rock Throw hit two Pokemon in the battle, or is that Rock Slide? That I'm thinking of. I don't know. I'll check and see. He has Bug Bite. I bet they're gonna use Razor Leaf on me. Yeah. They, they sense they're bug and grass. What their typing is. Now, I don't know if it's grass or bug or if it's bug or grass. You know, you know, which one comes first? I don't know. I wonder if this will do normal damage. I actually don't know. Can you get level 18? Nice. Would do normal or super fast? Okay, good. It does normal. I mean, Super effective damage. That's good to know. Critical hit on me, or Penny. I'm not Penny, what am I talking about? Uh, Sawaddle and bite on you. There we go. Ah! They scream for their life. No, hmm. I yeah, I think I will go heal off in the, the nurse lead while she's nearby. Okay, I got that done with. Um, let's actually proceed with actually going in the direction where we need to go, which is to this team plasma member over here. You stubborn brat! When I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. Yikes. Oh well. Let's, let's see if you're all talk and no bark or bite or whatever. All bark and no bite. Hopefully. Sendo. Well, he's certainly gonna take a bite out of me with that Pokemon. Because this is a, a dark ground type. He also has Intimidate for his ability. At least this particular one. Hmm. Razor Shell. There you go. Triple hit. Nice. Got that over and done with. It is a kid. Uh, blah blah blah. I didn't read the rest. It goes by so fast. And plus I press the button too. She just got the blue for the associates. Great. Uh hmm. While I'm here. Oh shoot, be right back. Okay, I'm back. I actually had to stop the recording for a moment because of reasons. I forgot there's a lot of grass types in this area, so I'm just gonna switch um someone else that's in the front like you. Okay. Let's actually get this item over here. And see what it is. A big root. That's useful. For, like, a Pokemon that has, like, Mega Drain or Giga Drain and their movesets. It'll, it'll drain a lot more HP from the opponent. Anyway, I'm gonna run around for a moment and find the Pokemon I want for something. Hello. You are what I want. Intimidate doesn't really do much, but oh well. Fight it! I'm just gonna raise this uh, attack and special attack. That's awkward. Uh, one more time. I'm just gonna keep doing that. Great. If I don't catch it, you know. Oh well. Oh my god! I almost killed it. That's awkward. Anyway, heal ball. One, two, three. Click. Yay! I caught the cottony. Whoop. 
When attacked, it escapes by shooting cotton from its body. The cotton serves as a decoy to distract the attacker. Okay. The cotton puff. Uh, what should I name this thing? I already know what I'm going to name it because it's going to be the next member of my team. Her name is Wendy. Because later on she'll turn into a grass flying type. Which is, you know, awkward, but let's see what her stats are. Timid. Attack down, speed up. Okay. Not really affecting her special attack, which is nice for me. And her speed is good. Okay. And her ability is prankster. Yes! That's what I want. Put you right there. Okay. Let's switch um, the Pokemon up to the front that I want to train. Because she's the next member of my final team. Oh, shoot. Decided to run away from that fight because it was just a uh, Sawaddle and uh, I can't really do much against Sawaddle with um, Wendy here because um, she's part grass and it's also part grass but also part bug. Great. Oh, I want to put this on her because she has Mega Drain as a, you know, a thing. Uh, what's I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to save the game because I got what I want. <laughs> the RB again. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm actually gonna... Oh, there's a mossy rock over there, which will allow you to evolve Eevee into Leafeon, but there's no Eevee in this game. So, my my, could you be looking for something? Yes. Just a female grunt of the Team Plasma variety. <laughs> Purloin. Okay. Go Wendy. She's not going to do much for the team right now, so I'm just going to, you know, switch trainer. Cessna, please come out. Oh no. She has Pursuit. I should have figured that. Oh, well, I didn't die from it. Nice. Oh yeah, that heal ball healed um, Wendy up to full. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice that. Oh, come on. Razor shell? Hit. Perlin fainted. Yay. Is that her only Pokemon? Yeah, it was. No, your outfits are not cool. That was... I know they're supposed to look like knights in shining armor, but it's more like something else. Anyway, I'm actually going to go heal because I'm low on PP for Razor Shell and um, stuff like that. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's actually proceeded with going through this freaking forest. I'm going to voice some of the trainers, like that one over there. He'll actually give you some berries if you defeat him. But for right now, I want the sip potion, which would be nice to have. Uh, there's actually an item over here, if I can get to it. Okay, I actually got poisoned in that last fight that I just encountered with a Venipede. Uh, um, in this generation and onward from now on, um, poison will not affect you um, outside the battlefield, just only inside the battlefield, which is why I bought a bunch of antidotes in order to get, get rid of it. I know there's a healing way just outside, but I didn't want to go out there. Wait a minute, I know there's a hidden item here. There you go. I was stepping on it. Tiny mushroom. I can sell that. Uh, walk through the grass. There we go. You're going to see me walking quite a sometimes to the grass. Because, you know, you kind of race. Okay, got away from that fight. Actually, there's somebody in this patch of moss or something. Or patch of grass. Patch of lumped up grass. Oh, it's right here. Great power... Get, get great power is drawn from nature without opposing it. The strength of rangers. This one has the, the the grass monkey. Okay. That's not gonna bode well for me. Cause I have nothing. Uh, hmm. I have Penny to take care of it, I guess. That's nice. Cause this probably has fine will for just physical attack. Yeah, it does. Okay. Take down. Oh, you jerk. If I don't kill it, then, you know, it's gonna drain some HP from me. Oh. You jerk. Oh well. Not too bad. Bye. 
How can we get to go first? I guess we're about speed tie or something. Or what's it a speed tie? I don't even know. I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, uh, there's gonna be rangers in the forest that have all versions of the, the elemental monkeys. And she gives me a chest of berry, which I think I already have. But oh well. Yes, it's great. Something over here? No. I think there's something in that lump of. Actually, that's a trainer in that lump of grass. Oh. Okay, in that fight, I used. Um, what, was, what was his name? Seer. Because I wanted to level him up a little bit, but he didn't level up, so. Oh well. He got paralyzed, so I need to heal him. I actually need to heal Penny. Not thinking about it. I bought a bunch of potions to do that with. Just regular potions. No, don't want to waste my supers. That's why a bunch of. That's why I buy a bunch of little potions. Oh, just gonna have a monkey too. Yeah, one I can deal with. <laughs> that was a delayed reaction there. Uh, let's, uh... Hmm. Let's do Stun Spore first. Oh. That's because I have Prankster. Come on. Get get off the Stun Spore first. You know I'm very much slower than it. Um, Prankster makes, um, like, these kind of moves go first. Which is very useful. Especially in competitive play. I noticed it being used a lot. Or... At least I use it a lot whenever I try to fight online and stuff. Which is not very often, but, you know, back when X and Y was out, I used to do that quite a bit. Okay. Let's just set up here. Sure, why not? I'm, lo I'm like, four levels lower than it. Or yeah, I'm four levels lower than it. So, I just want to make sure I can do what I can to, you know, beat it. Without switching or something. Because I need the experience. Make a drain. And with the big root I have equipped on her, it might do a little bit more than usual. Nice. I thought you just keep using water attacks on me. It is a water type after all, but you know. You can use, like, scratch or something. I guess that's all it really knows, apparently. It's just a water gun. Oh well, he fainted. There we go. <laughs> okay. 1080p for winning. Pokemon dollars. I get Petra Berry. A Petra Berry, I think it's based off of Peach. Or is it Petra? Oh. There's an item right here. Tiny Mushroom again. Nice. Put the item finder back up. Oh. Let me see my how my Pokemon are. Hmm. Okay. I was just checking. Because I got to face this person. So you made it this far. I'll hold, on, I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Pet rat. Okay. I can deal with that. That's level 16, so I think I can add, I'm actually level 4 that one for Wendy. Uh, so that's more. And I go first, because the prankster. Yay! So useful. Let's see. Sure, let's usually see. Let's see what I did in the last battle. Because it works out so well. Yeah, it really works out well. Uh, hopefully that leaf seed doesn't affect the bide. Does it? I wouldn't think so. I hope not. But I go first because prankster again. It's nice. I'm gonna use the the growth one more time, so actually no I don't have to. How faster than my than it? Well, it goes first anyway. Good. There we go. Mega Drain. 
finish it off. I guess we have to speed die. Or it's because I paralyzed him this way. It's slower than me. <laughs> well, I forgot. 640. Okay. Yep, I'm here to buy time. And if, you're, if you don't step if you don't step lively, we're going to, we're going to get away. Uh huh. I highly doubt that. If there's somebody in this or patch of grass. Oh, there's no one there. Oof. Okay, fine. I know there's somebody up ahead that's, you know, blocking our way. Yeah, besides just a team. Okay, he wasn't in our way. Fine then. I just ran right past him. He has the fire one, of course. Uh, oh yeah, set some up. Please, get him out here. Thank you. Yawn. Alright. Hopefully, hopefully I kill it in one turn. Which I probably won't, but, you know. It's nice to be positive. Okay, good, I did. <laughs> I didn't know for certain if I did or not. The old Mother Monkey Keys are kind of crappy Pokemon. They, just he they were just here created to help you make the first gym a lot easier. Which is, you know, a thing. I should do. Get rid of the toe whip. I don't really use it too much. Sixteen. Did you feel my wildness? No. Yes. He sees me another peach berry or petchup. Whatever. I'm sure it's like peach. That's what. Oh. Uh. All this encounters. Oh, shit. oh there's an Audino here. Let me face it. Crit. Okay, you can stop that. Thank you. Stun sport, please. What? Are you kidding me? Work only twice. No. What? Five? What is this nonsense? Uh, what a bad stroke of luck. Actually. Yeah, sure. I have eleven. Oh, well, I guess it's kind of pointless to do that anyway. She has refresh. Or he has refresh. Really? Another five hitter? Yeah, I seems to get that so often. You know, it get the second two times last time. Oh well. It fainted. I get some level ups. Nice. Level 17. Cotton Spore. Hmm. I like the moose set the way it is right now, and I have this plus speed nature, so I'll skip out on it. No. Yes. Okie dokie. Got away from that fight. Well, actually, I did get away from it. I fought it. So, uh, let's run through this grass here. You know what? I'm gonna heal. Or do I need to heal? Nah, I don't need to heal. Thanks, last words, probably. I just wanna get that item over there. I think it's a TM. I can't remember. Okie dokie. Let's just, you know. Nope. Almost made a big mistake. Grass knot. That's useful if you're, if you have a grass type. It, it's, it's a move that's used for like mainly rock types because they're so heavy. Okay, let's uh get out of this grass. I know the slow move, slow walking is probably gonna piss people off. Like I said before, before I was interrupted, I know the, the slow walking is probably gonna piss some people off because I'm not run. 
Because I'm not running. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get my senses out. Uh, but the reason why is because it's just the grass has so much, so many encounter rates. This is crazy. Anyway, a pursuer. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, like you beat some of us. That can't be helped. But I'll take you on now. I guess this is the final grunt we gotta face off against. Yeah, but he's the one who has the skull. Just a, just a guess. He has three Pokemon. Hat rat. Okay. Yo, Wendy. Uh, stun spore. Why did- I'm not having very good luck with hitting that, are we? I know it's like 75% accurate, but I think it would work a little bit more often than that, you know? That's just a that's just how I hope, which is not good. Oh. Okay. Oh, well good, I did growth. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. I thought I was using something else that would block it. Oh, come on. Oh. Great. Oh, good, it hits off. He's just gonna keep rubbing sand in my eyes. Or throwing sand. At least I'm getting back some health. Fine! Oh, crap. I just attacked him. Oh, Lord. Probably won't do much. You know, I just use growth. Ah! I'm sure I'm gonna be safe for one more time. Because, you know, I'm always finishing him off. It's not like he's gonna do that turn right now. Or he could be paralyzed. Nice. Pat Rat, again. Uh, sure, I'll switch. Get some other people the time in the sun. Time to shine. Eh, uh, where's your shell? What annoying. What an annoying. Yeah, great sense there. Raise your shell again. Oh, come on. Two turns in a row? That's not very fair. Let me guess it's gonna get three turns in a row, or just not do it at all. Fine. Could be wrong. Send out? No, I won't switch. It's a part ground. He has Intimidate, so I'm just gonna use Water Dance it. Ha. It was a critical hit, too. Fine, take your stupid skull. Get back then, Dragonite. You meanie. So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages. <laughs> oh god! I just, I just put the two and two together about another LP I'm doing. They have seven sages. God. It's the seven sage soul peas. Anyway. I'm mortified that the skull, which we went so much so much trouble to attain, was stolen from us so you stole it. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the dragon skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It's completely unrelated. No duh. It was a Dragonite. Could you not tell? Oh well. But we're not but we will not allow anyone to strike our plans to get away with it. We'll fix it so you never interfere with us again. Oh, sweet! The bug, po bug Pokemon were getting all worked up, so here I come. And what I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. Are you here to help your friends whom I defeated? Astra Bird! The others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this the guy big? Is this guy the big boss? I won the seven stages of Team Plasma. Guess this, another of the Seven Sages will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the Seven Sages have ordered their compatriotness to take Pokemon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the both Pokemon user and the normal Pokemon user, Lenora, I say, Know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time, we shall retreat quietly. To secure the, the liberation of Pokemon, 
who will steal Pokemon from steal Pokemon from trainers. Yeah, sure, steal them away. Why not? Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obs obstruction from you. In any case, we will sell this someday. I hope you are looking forward to that time as much as I. They're a speedy bunch. What are they planning to do, Berg? Are, are you going to chase them? Hmm. We got back to Stolen Skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll head back. And be heading back, Lenora. Lenora, meh. Well, no. Well. I'll be waiting for you. Your challenge at Castelia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed. I'll certainly look. For, I'll cer I'm certainly looking forward to it. It's been a long episode. I me cutting out stuff and then restarting again. Astra, you're holding the Dragon Skull. You worked so hard to get back, right? Yes. Astra, thank you so much. With this, with a kind trainer like you taking care of them, this the Pokemon. Well, you with you must be happy. Just took on my gratitude. Please use it carefully. It's a Moonstone. Nice. I don't have any Pokemon that can evolve with the Moonstone. They can evolve new Muna into Musharna with the Moonstone. In this generation. At, or in every generation. Since Gen 5, you know. Yes, I know. Now I must take the dragon back to the museum. See you. Take care of yourself. I like how all the gym leaders are in the future and now uh, are actually involved with the plot. I, I really miss that from X and Y. Or, you know, it's a good thing to do. There's actually something over here. Oh, that guy's blocking it. Fine. There's trainers around here that I could face, but I'm going to face them later. I just want to go towards where I need to go, which is off to the next city! I don't think that these guys have anything interesting to say. I'm just going to keep on going. Now here's something interesting to see, the least. Sky Arrow Bridge. It's a 3D environment that, you know, you go on in the Pokemon game. kind of wish this was on the 3DS, um, like a 3DS game itself, but at the time they just couldn't do it, I guess. Or the 3DS didn't exist until Black and White 2, you know, you know how that works out. Even then, they didn't put the Black and White 2 on the 3DS itself, you know, like a 3DS game. Oh well. Probably would have been too much work, and they were probably working on X and Y already. Anyway, this is a very long bridge, as you can see. It's actually a great place for hatching eggs, which is, you know, a thing. Anyway, <laughs> a good thing I, 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 I stopped talking about stuff, because um, here's the end of the bridge. Woohoo! It's a very long bridge. Okay, now we head on to the Castelia City Pokemon Center. This place is very cool. I kind of wish um, nah, never mind. I was, I was gonna say I wish um, Lumio City was the same, but no, probably wouldn't have worked as well, or it still doesn't work as well as it does now in Lumio City and X and Y. But whatever. Anyway, that's a bad city <laughs> for camera angles. Anyway. I think that's going to be enough for now. So in the next episode of Pokemon Black, we will explore around Castilia City and stuff. So yeah, there we go with that. I'll see you guys next time and let's play Pokemon Black. Bye for now.